Sending your scheduling link shouldn't feel weird, and I agree completely. That's why in today's video, we're taking a look at Savvy Cow, a scheduling tool that does things differently. Not only does it have some features that other popular tools, such as Calendly, do not have, but Savvy Cow really and truly puts the participant first, so it's easier and quicker for your clients to book time with you. Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity helping you to get more done and enjoy less stress. And just before we dive into Savvy Cal and all of the cool features that are included, I wanna take a step back and look at what's wrong with our traditional scheduling apps. So let me jump into Calendly for just a second. And you're probably already familiar with this interface, right? Someone sends me a link or I click on a link on their website and I'm brought to this screen and I can see, okay, I can see their availability, right? I can click on different days and then it can show me different times here. What's the problem? Well, now I've got to jump back to my calendar and say, okay, well, I'm, I'm available. Okay. Is that work for them? No, no. Okay. So the 26th, uh, they could meet at this. Um, now I got to go back to my calendar. I'm going back and forth and I'm wasting time. It's actually a little confusing at some times to see what is the best time for me. This is the best time for them. And, and that's good. That's half of the equation, but really it puts the onus on me. It's as almost as if this was designed with the organizer in mind and not so much for the participant. Well, that's exactly where Savvy Cal does things differently. So for example, here I am within a preview. This is the same type of screen. So someone has sent me a link and I want to book some time with them. First off, what I love about this in Savvy Cal is that it's really nice and clear. I'm getting a full week view here of their calendar, right? So I'm not just seeing the little dates and stuff. I still have a full monthly calendar here on the left-hand side, but it's just a little more flexible as I see what's available. But here is the cherry on top. In the top right-hand corner, I have the option to overlay my calendar. So if I hit this switch, now my calendar appears right on their availability calendar. So I can say, you know what? Uh, Wednesday afternoon sounds great to me. Uh, yeah, let's book 30 minutes there. My information's already put in. I'm gonna hit schedule and we're done. It's, it's a single click. It's a single click and I already saw my calendar on their calendar, nice and easy for me. So let's go back and take a look at some of these features here within Savvy Cal. Here we are within the Savvy Cal scheduling interface, and you can already see I've created three different links up to this point. Let's go into the one that we just saw, this coaching session with Scott. Now, one of the benefits just from the creation side is that I can also overlay my calendar here. So as I'm creating my schedule, I can see what's coming up. I can make changes on the fly by overlaying my actual calendar. If I don't want to see it, I can just toggle it here in the bottom right hand corner but this is a beautiful feature to make it that much easier for me to plan out my schedule now on the left hand side you can see some of the options here that we can choose from in most cases you're probably going to want to use a multi-use scheduling tool but you can also do single use as well if you want people to select it one time and that's going to be their only time to book that particular meeting but here are some of the other features that you won't find elsewhere in this case, we can actually choose to have multiple durations for this same meeting. So instead of having to create multiple events in Calendly or some other popular tools where I'd have to create a 30-minute coaching session and then I'd have to create a separate 60-minute coaching session and maybe if I wanted to offer a two-hour coaching session, I'd have to create a separate event for that. I don't have to do that. I can do that all right here. So why don't we do that? I've already got 30 minutes and 60 minutes here. Why don't I select two hours? So now they're gonna have the option on that same booking screen, 30, 60, or two hours. So I love this ability to be able to offer multiple hours. The next one here has to do with what types of availability are we going to set? Now I'll show you in a minute where we can set the defaults here, right? We see things like work hours and 
bonus hours. And you can have as many of these presets as you want. So in this case, my work hours are going to be nine to five with a bit of a break in here for lunch. But I've also added some bonus hours as well, some bonus hours in the evening on Tuesday and Thursday. But it gets even better. You can see here in the top right hand corner, we have something called ranked hours, meaning that you don't have to offer all of these hours at once. You can offer one of these hours first. And then if that still doesn't work for your clients or your participants, then they can be presented with additional hours. So for example, if I uncheck, if I disable this here, this ranking hours, what you will see is it's going to refresh my calendar here on the right hand side and I can select the bonus hours, right? It's going to be one or the other. In this case here, you can see my bonus hours, right? I can see them here down below. I can choose either my bonus or my work hours from those presets. But as soon as I select ranked, now what I can do is I can choose number one, how many of these that I want. And I can have as many as I would like to add here. I'm going to select bonus hours here, but then I can click and drag and say, you know what? At first glance, I want them to actually look at my bonus hours first because maybe I want to fill my days with other important tasks. And this is going to be secondary. But in this particular example, let's go back to where I had it set originally. I want work hours first and then I want those bonus hours. So what I'm going to do here, let's just go back here and I'm going to uh, paste this link just so that we can see this in action. So when I send out this link to a client or if they perhaps click on a particular button on my website, here is what they're going to see by default, right? This is what my current availability is. But you will notice down below it says, having trouble finding a time, click show more. So let's say that this is really busy with their schedule. Let's say that they're jam packed and oh, I'd really like to meet. I'd really like to set up this coaching session. Uh, what do I do next? Well, I can select show more and now I've got my bonus hours displayed. Well, maybe this fits with their schedule. So again, thinking of your clients, thinking of your participants first. And like I said before, we have that drop down. So if they want a 60 minute session instead of a 30 minute session, if they want a two hour session, all they have to do is select that option here. They don't have to go back to some other link or select some other option. Fantastic. So here you have the ins and outs of actually setting up a particular session. Let's move on and take a look at some of the other features here within Savvy Cal. Returning to our scheduling links page, another feature I love about Savvy Cal is the ability to create individual individual recurring links. What do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look at this one that I've created in advance. It's called Scott and Julie check-in. Let's say that Julie is a member of my team. And you know, once in a while when I want her to, I want Julie to set up a meeting with me just so we check in maybe once a week or once every other week. Now it's going to be the same format, right? I want the same duration of time. It's going to be meeting in my office. And yeah, Julie is the recipient. So the great thing here is that I can create a custom link just for Julie, including her information already, so that she can just click it whenever she wants. And we'll have all that information waiting for us right here. And I can even go ahead and edit the URL. So in this case, maybe I want to call this a uh, Julie check-in, for example, something like that. I'm gonna hit save here. So now she can bookmark this URL and just use it whenever she needs to. Or maybe I can send her that URL saying, hey, let's check in later this week, please use this link to book a time with me. So this can be great, whether it's for staff or with other people that you meet on a recurring basis, and you don't want to send them to your publicly available link or the thing that is listed or linked to your website, you can customize it for certain individuals. Taking a look at our availability settings, here you can see the work hours and the bonus hours, which I referred to before. So the nice thing is that I can manage all of my different sets or all of my different recurring ranges in one place and then choose to attach them or possibly rank them depending on the type of scheduling link that I'm creating. So in this case, let's start and uh, add another one here. I'm gonna add one something called weekend hours. So maybe for a particular type 
of session, I want to add some weekend hours. All I need to do is add a recurring range. I'm going to uncheck the days of the week because this is for the weekend. And maybe I'm going to say that my weekend hours are going to be from uh, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And I'm only going to offer this on occasion, right? I'm certainly not going to add this to all of my scheduling links. But when I need to, I've managed it right here in a single place. And I can do so as often as I like. So quick and easy to manage all of your availability. Lastly, I want to take a quick look at our settings here because not only can you bring in your teams and integrate with other applications, but what I love is that you can give delegated access, meaning that you can allow an assistant to manage your account on your behalf without giving them full access to everything. So for example, if you have a virtual assistant, if you have a secretary and you would like them to help you manage your calendar, you can delegate this access to them without having to share your username and password. So if you'd like a simpler way to manage all of your scheduling links and make it that much easier for your participants or clients to book time with you, I'd recommend that you check out SavvyCal. Be sure to check out the link in the description below for a special offer just for SimpleTivity viewers. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.